students now we will discuss linear diophantine equation the basic method to solve this will help you to solve linear congruence as well as so better to understand it very easily we will be using the algorithm let's understand what exactly is this see tell me one thing if you have any equation like this 2x plus y is equal to 3 If I say solution of this equation, what does it mean? The solution means any value of x and y which satisfies this. Now tell me if I put x is equal to one and y is equal to one, will it be the solution? Yes, it is a solution. Same way, if I put x is equal to two and y is equal to minus one, that is also a solution. So like that, I can find out many solutions. Now tell me one thing: if you have two x Plus four y is equal to thirteen. Can you find out the solution? See, whatever value of x and y you put here, it will never give you the answer because the sum of two even number cannot be odd, right? So this type of equation may have a solution and may not have a solution. The standard equation is ax plus by is equal to c. This is called linear Diophantine equation. now how to check whether it will have a solution or not right so what i will be doing for this i will take the gcd of a and b so i will say let b be the gcd of a and b okay now if this d if it divides c then i will have the solution otherwise i will not have let us cross check this in these two examples now in the first case a value is what 2 right this is a and b value is what it is 1 and what is the gcd of 2 and 1 1 and obviously 1 divides 3 so i do have a solution in the case of first equation now if you look at this the second one the a value is 2 and b value is 4 what is the gcd of 2 and 4 gcd is simple hcf if you don't know how to find it out see the video for gcd now the gcd of 2 and 4 is 2 now 2 never divides 30 so i don't have the solution for this equation right so now our target is to learn how to solve linear diophantine equation okay linear diophantine equation is ax plus by is equal to c okay and the way to check whether i will have a solution or not is find gcd of a and b and check whether it is dividing c or not right now look at this so i can say this is the standard equation first step find out the gcd then check if d by c is there or not d is dividing c or not right after that i will get the solution as this x is equal to x not plus b by dt and y is equal to y not minus a by dt okay if c is equal to 0 it has trivial solution that is if this is a situation my x value will be this and y value will be this let us see one example look at this if suppose 6x plus 9y is equal to 0 then what is the gcd of 6 and 9 gcd of 6 and 9 is 3 and obviously 3 divide 0 so solution is there so i will write the solution as c b by d t or k whatever you want to use and y is equal to minus a by d k so answer is this k will take the different values from 1 2 3 4 like that okay so this will be our working method in the case of when c value is zero usually in exam they don't ask this type of question and they usually ask the this type of equation so now i understood that how to check whether the solution exists or not and then the solution is given by these two formulas now my target is to find the value of x not and y not because b and d are there in question a and d are there in question e will take the different values right so now i will teach you how to find the value of x not and y not with the help of question if you understand this method linear congruence will also be clear and will be easy for you so let's start with one question to understand it suppose this is a question okay now very first thing you define your given things to avoid the confusion a is equal to 
B is equal to 9 and C is equal to 21. And what is D? D is nothing but GCD of A comma B. Means GCD of 6 comma 9. And what is the GCD of 6 comma 9? It is equal to 3. Now tell me 3 divides 21 or not? Yes. So I can say that D is dividing C. So solution exists. Right? So I do have a solution. And now my target is to find out the solution. Always before you start, check whether you can reduce the equation. The way to reduce the equation is divide the whole equation by GCD. So, I will divide the whole this equation by 3. So, what I will get? 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. So, this is my reduced equation. Okay. Even if you start with this equation, you will get the answer. Okay. But it is easy when you take the small number. So, let us start with this. Now, understand the concept. I am using these two numbers. My bigger number will go inside and the smaller number will come here. Now, two ones are two. Remainder is one. Okay. I am using the method of GCD. Two, one, twos are two. Remainder is zero. Correct? Now, if you remember in the first video, I told you that when you divide the numbers, you can always write P is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. That is a division algorithm. So, let me start writing here from the downwards. Always start from the downwards. Since here it is 0, no need to write this number. I will directly write here. So, in this particular question, only one equation I am getting. 3 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. See, 3 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. Okay. So, I got this equation. Now, from this, write remainder alone. So, 1 is equal to 3 minus 2 into 1. You wrote like this. Now, what is the next thing I will be doing? This is my standard equation. If I compare, see, my target is to convert this equation to the question. But right now, my question is this one because it is a reduced equation. Now, if I observe, here is something, here is something and here is 7. And here I have 1. So, how I can make this as 7? Multiply whole equation by 7. So, what you will get? 7 is equal to 3 into 7. Don't multiply. I know 3 into 7 is 21, but don't multiply, okay? Minus 2 into 7. Now, compare this equation and this equation. See, 7 is equal to, I had 2 here. So, I want to write 2. So, how I can arrange these terms? 2 into minus 7. Plus, other is 3 into y. So, I will write 3 into 7. So, basically, I am trying to compare this equation and this equation. Now, you observe, if you compare, what is the coefficient? Suppose, this is the equation number 1. And this is the equation number 2. Now, in equation number 1 and 2, what is the coefficient of 2? In equation number 1, coefficient of 2 is x. Though in equation number 2, the coefficient of 2 is minus 7. So, the value of x will be minus 7. Same way, the coefficient of 3 is 7 here. And the coefficient of 3 in first equation is y. So, y is equal to 7. So, I got the value of x and y by comparing both the equations. Okay. Now, I wrote the solution minus 7 and 7. Correct. But, my target is always to have the simpler number, smaller number and positive number. Which I have shown you how to convert in my previous videos. Now, if I want to convert this minus 7, I will show it again. So, how I can write minus 7 congruent x mod 3. Why mod 3? Because we are dividing it by 3. Our GCD is 3. Right? Now, what is the value should come here? I have told you the method. I need to find a number x which when I write here, it should become divisible by 3. Right? So, what is the value of x I can have? See, if I put 
x value as 2. So, minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9 which is divisible by 3. Correct? So, my x value is 2. So, I have find out the smallest positive number. You can find out any other values as well. It is not only 2 which is giving solution. But it is the smallest positive number. Okay? Now, same way I will convert this 7 also to a smaller number. So, this value is my x0. Now, let me give a try to this. Look carefully if you are not clear. 7 is congruent to y mod 3. So, now I want to make the table of 3. So, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So, 6 will help me. So, what I should subtract from 7 to get 6? 1. So, y value should be 1. So, 7 congruent 1 mod 3 is working. So, my y0 value is 1. Correct? So, now I got the value of x0 and I got the value of y0. So, what will be my x value? x will, value will be x0 plus b by d t. And y value will be what? y0 minus a by d and t. So, my x value is 2 plus 3t and my y value is 1 minus 2t. Now, for different values of t, I can write x is equal to start with 0, 2. If I put t is equal to 1, what I will get? 5. If I put t is equal to 2, so 3 to the 6, 7, 8. Like that, I will have the answers. You can leave here also, or at this point also. Now, y value also let us write. If t is equal to 0, y value is 1. If t is equal to 1, y value is minus 1. If t is equal to 2, so, it will become minus 3. Like that, I can get the solutions. Right? So, this is how we solve. So, in my next video, now I will show you the more questions. Thank you.